In this stage we're going to stain and glaze the finished crown. So this is the stain kit with uh, a little colour chart there. And they're mixed in much the same way as the ceramic powders for the main crown build up but in smaller quantities. So in the palette there I've got two um, powders out. The first is the glazing powder and that's in the, the big one in the middle. And that's going to be mixed with the liquid and applied all over the surface of the ceramic to give a, a, a high glaze, high glossy finish. And then the colour that I've got out is one that um, goes with the 3M2 and it's used sort of in, interproximally and around the neck area just to um, give some character to the tooth. So, small brush use for this stage. You don't have to put these glaze powders on, you can do what they call a self glaze and just put the, um, the crown through the porcelain furnace uh, on a cycle without a vacuum which allows all the um, glasses to come to the surface and that gives a, a lower sheen but this is for a, a high, highly glossy one so probably more preferable to a, uh, an older patient. Mm -hmm. So you're just putting the stains on into the glaze as it's wet on the crown, you sort of yeah. puddle it in don't you, and just yeah. slosh them about a bit. It's easy to overdo these stains, you want to uh, be quite careful. They're not overly visible in the glaze are they, you sort of paint it on and you kind of have to trust that you've put it there. It's yeah, it's easier if you're doing a self glaze, you can mm. see them more clearly. I'm just putting some on the back just for a little bit of fancy there. And then again, take the die with the crown on out of the model. And I'll just probably put some on uh, into proximity as well, just to darken it down there. Just down in the uh, margin region. Okay. So on with the glaze. The function of the glaze really is, other than just appearance, it makes the crown hygienic in that it seals up all the um, porosities in the surface of the crown and also strengthens it by sealing, sealing up all those porosities as well. And if you have to adjust this, adjust this in the patient's mouth, um, one way or another you're going to have to achieve a glaze again, either by having it reglazed in the um, furnace like this or by polishing it up which isn't mm. so easy. That's it then, out it comes from the furnace, all nicely finished off, a little bit of character on the incisor edge you can see there, not too mm. much. That's a lot, job done. Excellent.